If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. Plenty of sunshine here across the Tennessee Valley on this Monday. After the cold front moved through overnight, we've been much cooler today. Many of us staying into the 60s. Clouds on the way in as we head deeper into the overnight. No rainfall expected with this. Maybe a sprinkle tomorrow under the cloud deck, but cooler temperatures here for the next several days. We only reached 66 today, despite sunshine at the Lawrenceburg Airport, morning low of 48. No rainfall as expected. Muscle Shoals Airport, also no rain. And we're honestly not going to have measurable rain around here for the next 7, 10, maybe 14 days. It did get up to 72 this afternoon at the Muscle Shoals Airport after a morning low there of 56. Forecast for tonight, mostly clear this evening, but clouds thickening up, especially after midnight toward daybreak mainly into the lower 40s across southern middle Tennessee, but there could be some isolated upper 30s here and there before the clouds thicken up, especially in our naturally cooler spots, mainly into the mid 40s across northwest Alabama and northeast Mississippi, and then partly sunny to mostly cloudy for our Tuesday daytime highs because of that only into the low to mid 60s. We'll keep this cooler weather around here for the next few days. Reinforcing shot of that moves in Wednesday, Behind that cloud cover on Tuesday, we'll clear the clouds out Tuesday night so that we're mostly clear. That allows us to drop into the mid to upper 30s by daybreak on Wednesday morning. So a frost is possible, if not likely. Only the upper 50s to lower 60s despite sunshine on Wednesday. And then down into the lower half of the 30s overnight Wednesday night, where another frost is even more likely than it will be tomorrow night. So here for Tuesday night, Wednesday night, you're going to have to cover the plants so you don't lose them, but we do start to moderate things as we go into the latter part of the week. We'll have high pressure shifting off to the east Thursday and a Friday that will give more of a southerly wind, and that will mean moderating temperatures heading into the end of the weekend, especially the weekend ahead. So we're going to be here in the low to mid 60s through Thursday for daytime highs, maybe the upper 50s for some of us on Wednesday. Again, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, deep enough into the 30s that we are going to have to worry about frost and you are going to have to cover the plants moderating temperatures to end the weekend back into the mid 70s as we go into the weekend and early next week but i think we're done with the quote unquote hot weather now as we get deeper into the fall the october month and we see these cold fronts coming down more progressively. We have a couple of disturbances. We're watching the Atlantic Basin for the tropics, one out here in the east central Atlantic that has the potential to become Nadine over the next few days as it heads westward. It's well far away from land, so we're not talking about a United States threat outside of maybe Puerto Rico at the end of the seven-day period. Also, things could change, but long-range data suggests that it would recurve to the north out here in the west Atlantic before it ever headed toward the mainland United States. This late into October, because we start getting our cold fronts, that is what is a lot more likely to happen with systems out here into the Atlantic, instead of them continuing to head westward all the way toward Florida or the southeast coast. That's not nearly as likely this late into the season. Our second system down in the Southwest Caribbean, that would be a Central American type thing if it is able to develop. So at least for the next seven days, no signs of a threat of the tropics to the mainland United States. Of course, the hurricane season goes all the way through the end of November, so we will watch things very carefully for you. Forecast for tonight, mostly clear through the evening, dropping out of the 60s into the 50s quickly after sunset, and then 40s overnight. Most of us into the low to mid 40s by daybreak here on our Tuesday. Partly sunny to mostly cloudy Tuesday, daytime highs, the low to mid 60s. Upper 50s to lower 60s with sunshine on Wednesday. And again, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, well down into the 30s. And we're talking frost potential. Moderating temperatures as we head late in the weekend, especially the weekend ahead. There's a little late a seven-day forecast. I'll be back at 9 o'clock for a final check of your local weather.